The scanning has finished, so let's take a look at our model. I've uh, added a few more scans uh, so that we have some extra, some other angles that we can fill in detail from. Uh, we can rotate our view by holding the left mouse button. The right mouse button zooms in and out, or we can use the scroll wheel. And then by holding the left and right mouse buttons, we can pan our view. So the first thing that we need to do is to trim the scans. Click on trim and then wait for Scan Studio to save a backup file. We can now use the selector tools along with the plus and minus buttons to select unwired parts of our object. Uh, the uh, tool that I use most often is this circle selector and we'll just select areas of our object that we don't need and I'll just do this like that uh, we can also come into these individual scans if we move them to the side like that and uh, work on them individually as well as all together So I'll pause this video and finish uh, selecting and trimming our objects. All of our uh, areas that are not part of our model uh, are now selected. So we can just come over to this trim button and that will trim away everything that we don't need, everything that's selected here. I've finished trimming, so next we need to align the different scan families. I'll turn, uh, I'll go to, to each of these different ones so we can see everything Uh, so we need to trim this. I've finished trimming, so next we need to align the different scan families. I can go to each of these different uh, scans, so can see what they look like. Uh, this last set uh, managed to align uh, without any problems, so we can just uh, leave that until the last uh, part of the align. But we'll go to this first one and go to align. So, in order to align the scans, uh, we need to display uh, everything, and these need to be uh, detached from uh, from the green area, basically. So we have one of our scans here and then we can click on this to bring up another one of our scans. Uh, I'll go to colored view and then we can take each one of these take these uh, colored dots and just set them on similar areas. 
So let's say not seeing anything that matches that point for sure. So try this point. Uh, zoom in here. And I'd say it, that it looks like these two points match. Reasonably well, at least. So once that's done, we can uh, right click and attach. And there we have two of our scans now that are attached. And then we can just start working on the third one. Identify points. Right there, and right there, we don't really need to uh, use second points, uh, just one is fine, but obviously you have that option if you want it to. It's just completely unnecessary. So we can attach this one now. And I'll go through and uh, finish aligning. All of our scans have been aligned, but there are still only separate overlapping meshes. To fix this, we need to fuse the scans together. To do this, click Fuse, uh, hang on, Fuse, okay, and then we'll go to our settings, and select Create Watertight Model, and we'll set this to 0.9, which is the default. and hit fuse. Our object is now finished and ready to be exported. Click on output or go to file save as and uh, we can select the desired format. Uh, you will want to use OBJ if you're going to be importing into a 3D application or STL for use in 3D printing. There are also CAD formats available if you have purchased CAD tools. We, we are going to be exporting this uh, to, and bringing it into a uh, 3D program. So I'll use the OBJ file and make sure that the units is millimeters. So saving this as CB puppet uh, body body and save. This is the end of this tutorial on 3D scanning. Next, we will import our object into a 3D application for further editing.